All right, here's our tropical update. Hurricane Tracker, yeah, still watching Hurricane Matthew. It became a full-fledged hurricane, a minimal hurricane at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. You can see how large this tropical system is. It's huge. It covers a large area. You go out about 300 miles from the center and you have tropical storm force winds. So 75 mile per hour winds. As we go through the next several days, it's going to continue to make its way to the west and maybe even west-southwest. Then it gets picked up by the jet stream and those steering currents, a quick turn to the right, moves quickly off to the north, and it continues to intensify as it moves through Cuba, still staying a Category 2 hurricane as we get into early next week. Computer models are in pretty much agreement. A couple of them stray off farther to the west, but the big key is how far west does this system go in the Caribbean before it makes that right turn and heads north. If it moves a little bit farther to the west, then it could be a different story. Now the GFS, which is the American computer model, the Euro obviously is the European model. Look at the difference. They're in pretty much agreement in the next several days, but once it makes that turn, notice the GFS is a little bit farther to the northwest, which means it's going to get closer to the southeast coastline of the United States. And then it starts to race off to the northeast, but it races much faster and much stronger system than the Euro. The European kind of hangs around down in the Bahamas.